Good evening. Good evening. Is this working? Is this working? Okay. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us in such large numbers um, this evening. And um, thank you, Olga, for accepting this invitation to actually fly um, back from, from Moscow for this discussion. And thank you for Utrecht Archive for hosting us tonight. Before we actually start the conversation with Olga, which will be um, very informal and it will be the sort of like just an episode episode in a, in a continuous dialogue that we're having and the, the exhibition can very well be regarded as another episode. Um, I would like, so before that I would like to make a few practical announcements and the first one is um, very good news is that uh, tonight we're also launching uh, an artist edition of Olga. Uh, it's called Clippings. Now it's working, actually. Uh, it's called Clippings. It is uh, a variation on an existing work, uh, a 24-channel video installation, which was remodeled, reinterpreted in, in this artist edition, which was designed by Maxim Spivakov. Um, and which is available for sale at Buck for 17 euros each. It's an edition of, of 100 copies. And there are also 10 signed copies, which cost 75 euros. And the second, oh, this is also good news. So the second good news is that due to, um, well, the, the, the great success of the exhibition and the large visit, visiting numbers, uh, we are prolonging the exhibition until April 17th. So you would still have a chance to <coughs> see it for, for longer than initially planned. Um, okay, so um, the first question that I would like to ask Olga is a very straightforward one. It's actually the title of our uh, of, 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 of this event. Um, how can uh, realism be critical today? And I would qualify this question by first by, by focusing on the today part of the question and sort of like throwing it back to you because in your practice you are referring to a certain tradition or to perhaps multiple um, versions of, of a formation in art that we call realism. And I would like to ask you, you know, to maybe share with us what would be your, as you call them in another conversation, friends, what would be your, um, um, you know, people that you refer to and, and the, the moments, the historical moments in realism that you refer to in your work. And then what is your strategy to bring that into the current moment, in a way, in the, in the current um, discussion in art and in the current you know, social environment and, and, and general political environment in which you work as an artist. Okay, <laughs> good evening. <laughs> so, uh, I also would like to say thank you for uh, everyone who came today and also for Bach Institution and for uh, YouTube Archive who made this uh, evening possible. And um, uh, to, to come to your question, uh, Cosman, um, I think uh, with realism, uh, we first, uh, I mean, or I first have to say that uh, I don't feel uh, myself to be a realist as, as much as uh, it can be um, understood, uh, I mean, it can be, um, can look like, because uh, for, for me, uh, realism, I mean, maybe I refer to, I mean, to, to say about classical realism for me would be 19th century and uh, especially 19th century uh, Russian art, which is a very, very typical example. And the basic part of it is, uh, is uh, moral and uh, very, uh, very critical. And uh, for, for me, it's not a question, uh, maybe not to be critical or not, it's for me to, um, to, to understand better the life which is um, uh, my contemporary, I mean, the, the, the life which is, um, I'm, I'm evident too. And um, it's like to, um, 
to learn or to try to be attentive and to uh, um, to be interested and to be a wonder and uh, for for me is not not based not based on the on the theory because I think that this um, movement in Russia, which is a best example of realism for me still, uh, was uh, was based on on a theory that class classicism is uh, over and uh, uh, artists should go to the um, to the population to show art there to to explain and to also to um, demonstrate how social life um, how bad is a social life and I think uh, every um, every generation or every uh, epoch has uh, its own problems and uh, um, I'm not criticizing, but also I'm not ignoring the things uh, which which I appreciate also uh, very much. It's like uh, Baudelaire who was saying that who we are to uh, to deny uh, contemporary life. It's it is. Uh, I mean, it's only life we have, and uh, um, for me, it's maybe more interesting to um, to find. Uh, to find spot of uh, inspiration or spot of uh, wonders, and I think uh, uh, for, um, what I'm doing is like very often is based on the, on the mistakes, uh, visual or some um, strange uh, coincidence, and um, um, basically I'm not planning my works. I don't have uh, strong. Um, uh, strong ideas for for the projects. It's more like collecting things and to be quite passive. Uh, so and um, with this critical point and this, I, I mean, if you uh, if you can find uh, uh, po poetry uh, which you which you call realistic, then I I think I can accept this realism as a mine uh, theme. Because for, for me, uh, very important is uh, how um, um, I love the metaphors very much, and how uh, how they can um, explain life, how they uh, the, through this interpretation, uh, how you could understand it's much sh quicker, shorter, and deeper. Uh, so this um, uh, what uh, but, um, I can say for the moment. Well, I will. Um well, I will challenge you a little bit because you said on one hand that you that you like to be in a, in a passive mode as an artist, and then of course you questioned the the way in which you know the way in which like realism um, as a as a label adapts to you, uh, and then you also like brought in the question of metaphor. But one of the sort of like basic definition or like one of the one of the well, the most critical dimension of of realism is not so much in Ne or not necessarily in the subject that uh, a realist artistic object or process chooses to uh, focus on, but the mere idea of, 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 of regarding reality as a non-homogeneous structure, of the fact that you know, not everything that we see or is around us is the same. There is some sort of logics inside that, fu that functions on different bases. And by choosing a certain part of reality, you qualify, you know, this this, this reality. You know. And what you call a metaphor is actually, you know, a process also of of, of, of structuring this re of, of, of 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 the things that we see and the things that we are that are around us. And this is something that I think you you might be doing. Well, then uh, I would maybe. Um um, call it romanticism because for me romanticism is very much uh, connected to inner world, to to the world of the con conscious and to how um, how things are uh, explained themselves in in the reality and how they show up. But I think it's better maybe not um, search for the terms. Of course. Just to I mean uh, what I like I agree with that. what what I like very much uh, is a uh, is a. Um, there are details. There are little moments, little uh, illuminations. This, uh, what I would really, I mean, I feel uh, not happy, but kind of uh, have some, I know, have some inspiration. Like I feel better if if I can if if I can see it. It's um, like uh, the way to to live. So and for, for me, it's like the practice which I really like, and uh, um, uh, it doesn't matter which title it, it will have. 
So if you like, you, you call it realism. I mean, not, not the case. And I like, I mean, I can, uh, so uh, I like two figures from um, uh, realism of 19th century who are the, like, really what uh, you say, the friends or like a, um, an invisible or a, um, mental friends. Is one is Pavel Fedotov. And uh, another is uh, Leonid uh, Salamatkin. They are two, uh, and they are belong like uh, from the history of art. They would belong to realism school. But and why do you like them? Mm, why, why, in, wh where is their because they are not uh, actually. They have very very big capacity of of the. Uh, uh, s sympathy and uh, empathy to to the subject they do, and because of this, uh, you cannot. I mean, what usually I do, uh, like, uh, and, it, and it's not only with, let's say, with art. I mean, I don't divide, but very often um, the the thing to understand even this, uh, I know, this uh, art would be to feel to, to 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 pretend you are this art for the moment. Then you feel very uh, very well what's. Uh, What's going on? I mean, you can understand the architecture for this. And, uh, for example, with this book, which, uh, thank you very much, we, we produce in the collaboration, these clippings, uh, uh, there, there, there is a number of the stories, <laughs> uh, because we t today it's just a, like a celebrating day for, for this book. I have seen it for the first time already. So, and in this book, there are the stories and vi in the pictures. And uh, uh, there is one story... Um, which is very important. It's like I would say it's a key story for uh, for this book and for my activity as well. And uh, it's a, a description and um, it's a, in, in in installation. It's a it's a video subject and we see uh, women night gloves and I, um, I I I took it uh, and I, I show it upside down. So you see, it's like a live figure, and uh, the the text is. Uh, Mm, it's it's not a quotation. It's just um, I think uh, I, I was telling. Uh, I mean, I was uh, I was telling it by my words, but it's idea of uh, Mikhail Chekhov, who um, uh, who was a great actor and also uh, um, uh, not how to when, when we, we, you make peace in the theater. You mean? So not a, a theater maker, how do, the a director director in the theater. So and uh, he was teaching um, actors actors uh, for Stanislavski system, but he uh, converted a little bit. And his idea is like uh, to uh, to absorb uh, the the subject. And like uh, he was telling, like if you see the kettle in front of you, you you should understand uh, what the life of the cattle was and what the name of the cattle and what the age and what the habits and then uh, you you feel very close so you um, you touch it mentally so then you absorb it and then after some time you feel like it's grow inside of you it was not uh, the system when you pretend you become the the, the cattle yourself it's more like so it's grow and uh, one day you you see it's done. So it's you can play it. You can you can be a, a character, and uh, so and, and uh, this is a method where you don't have a border. I mean, you you go closer and closer uh, to the to the subject, and because of this, also for me to criticize is a. Um, Mm, it would be difficult because you become. I mean, they are. Uh, you can you can criticize yourself, but it's uh, the same with uh, with the subject. I mean, I can I, I criticize them, but it's it's something with very big understanding. You know, like it's not uh, not a subject object um, pr pr um, proposition or how to say. So and. Um, um, maybe uh, I can show you some images. Um, uh, yes, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, because like exactly because of sort of like the the, the last part of your answer, I would like to. Um, it's not an answer; it's a question. I mean, I don't have any answer. It's, <laughs> it's um, just my uh, way to pose a question. Then I will refer to another question that, yes. you, that you put about your work before, which uh, which was uh, trying to see if, like, to, to, to formulate it in it as a question, uh, your work relates to uh, another great personality of of of, uh, uh, well, uh, of of 20th century culture, the filmmaker Ziga Vertov, and then you sort of like 
uh, were discussing that your work and uh, the, 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 your strategy, actually, like of, of seeing and of, of putting piece of reality together, is in many ways uh, similar or borrowed from from Ziga Vertov. Would you like to mm. ask a question in connection with that? <laughs> yes, ma <laughs> I have a lot of questions to Ziga Vertov uh, himself. <laughs> And uh, as, a, as a mental friend, but I would say um, my real hero would be Davzhenka because Ziga, Ziga Vertov is, a, I mean, it's a, he is very interesting for me, and uh, he was uh, uh, most interesting. There are texts he made in a time when he was not working. He was suppressed very much by the system, and uh, second half of the life he didn't make uh, much work, and he was thinking and he was writing, and it's uh, sometimes very frustrating, but sometimes very uh, deep text he made, and uh, I like uh, I like very much him as a person, and I mean as a, as a uh, filmmaker, uh, but I would maybe refer. To Davzhenka as a, let's say my um, example, which I, I, I learned maybe I would I would put put him immediately if somebody will will ask me who is your like we we we, just, we decided to call them mental friends, and also they and, and maybe tell us a little bit why why mm, because like what exactly also because maybe like a lot of people in the audience are not immediately familiar with, uh, with yes. this work so yes would you um, to see like. To, to, to maybe discuss like what what elements are, are borrowed. Yeah, we, we were we, yeah we were talking a little bit about him uh, when we made the film program uh, one month ago. So and I mean in this year and or in the, yeah okay, uh, he he made a, a great film called uh, has a title the Earth uh, and the, in this film there are a few I mean. You could divide it. It's very, very interesting uh, by how he interpreted the social drama. It's, it's uh, for me still just one single example of the situation when uh, uh, people uh, who are together and who uh, has a um, relation to the truth, which is uh, indivisible earth, they don't punish the murder because uh, and and uh, the most the biggest. Punish, uh, punishment is the earth uh, didn't didn't take him didn't uh, didn't caress him didn't like him, and this is a, this this is only punishment. But visually, it it made um, so in in so interesting uh, way because it's very slow. It's a uh, uh, it's it's, it's uh, there are a lot of innovation in in, in visuality, uh, like um, you see uh, pictures. Which are made uh, because Davzhenka, it's uh, the, the the things are happening in Ukraine, and Davzhenka is originally from Ukraine, and now he's a Ukrainian also filmmaker, uh, and it, in, in it's it, he you really feel like he loves the subject, and uh, you see the earth which is breathing, and you the the earth become, uh, but it doesn't make by animation; it's all made through the uh, view um, of his mind. So, uh, and uh, he um, made this, uh, also it was very big innovation, uh, elliptical uh, montage when the things are connected not by the, by the logic uh, of the event, but by the inner, uh, inner meaning. Uh, so this is why I like him very much. And this is a very beautiful black and white film. And also he uh, put a lot of attention for some figures which are standing and doing nothing. And this is my favorite casting, uh, always like favorite uh, subject, because I also like to do it myself, you know, like uh, just watch something. And so I, I'm always very intrigued what, what they do, what they think about, what, the, what, the, what the could be the uh, inner monologue or, I don't know, dialogue with the reality. And uh, this always intrigued me so much. And I think uh, with with Davzhenko there are some. I mean, I'm not I'm not copying him and trying not yeah. to, but uh, I like it. But I'd like to ask now a, a question also in relationship with the exhibition um, at Buck, um, because I think that a lot of people when they when they um, when I go in the exhibition from here and um, also a lot of the of the reviews that uh, uh, that were written on the show in the um, in the national press here, um, cannot sort of like necessarily like go over seeing basically Russia 
in, in the exhibition, seeing a representation of Russia of different elements there. But for me, yeah, it's much more striking um, in the exhibition, and of course in your in your entire practice, you know, a certain focus on a way of seeing reality, a way of engaging with 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 it, a certain way of dealing with life in general, and even if Russia is not just you know not just the accidental. Um, Landscape, you know, in which you work and on, on and on which this study is being applied, but there is a deeper, of course, like level in which like particular developments and particular situations in Russia inform your practice. However, there is this sort of like universal component of your work. How do you feel about this conflict of, and how do you feel about this, you know, status that is often, you know, attached to your work? Mm, right. Of you know, a representative of Russia par excellence. Yeah, for me, Russian language is very important because it's really help uh, uh, to understand things. The, the, so, and it's my native uh, language, and I think uh, because maybe this uh, brings me the illusion that I understand things in Russia better. Uh, but um, so, I mean, uh, I would. I would love to to think about uh, my activity that it's not only um, not only based on the local problems. Of course, uh, our, uh, the problems in Russia there may be more visible, more not uh, not so smooth uh, smoothly packed into society. But uh, the the situation uh, which um, I always like all this disposition, like uh, the, which uh, think uh, what 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 they are the things and how they pretend to be, how they going to show themselves, what's behind them, what's the, what about the loneliness, what about the uh, like lost uh, to be lost in the society, what what about to to have illusion or I mean to have uh, so it's all I, I don't I think it's very basic and universal uh, and. Um, Mm. Uh, the the challenge would be to to work uh, with another uh, social material, and uh, up till now. And why uh, don't you do it, or why didn't you do it? Mm. When I was living in Holland in the Rex Academy, I think I wasn't ready for it, and also I was working with a pro with a project which are more um, uh, direct to. Uh, inner space, but not not um, displayed so much with a, with a, um, uh, with the real attributes, with the attribute of the reality. Uh, but uh, so I'm I'm thinking to to do. But you know the the the, the situation is that I never plan much. So it's maybe maybe it's happening. <laughs> You said today in a, in, in a conversation that we had, and well, I am distorting a little bit the, the quote because it was in a very particular context, but I think it's still not a complete abuse. But you said that um, uh, an artist has uh, a bigger responsibility than a citizen. And it was indeed in a, in a negative context, you know, about uh, talking about a particular case, but you were referring to what, you know, an individual, you know, says to the world how an individual position him or herself to the world. And in that context, you make this distinction. And an artist has an even higher responsibility than a citizen. Mm. Yes, because it's not, not private. I mean, if you do the work, you, you enter social and public places, and you, you, you show it for, I mean, you can influence somebody. It's, uh, of course, it's more, because you, uh, it's not your only... On the, um, mm, very private and very um, innocent, or or not innocent, mm. but still um, it doesn't belong to you. Only. I mean, if you show it, then it's uh, but then it's also for everybody for who for, who explain something to other people or not, you know, or try to 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 show. Yeah, it, it was. I, I remember the, the the moment, but it it was really against the, the statement that artists are uh, like a mm, different. Could cast a different, uh, different cast, yeah. uh, cast a which people. is uh, which is uh, um, cannot be guilty or cannot be judged as uh, as other people, and I I don't agree with it. I think it's it's, uh, it, it's already artist has so many um, privilege than <laughs> even I mean uh, to think about it. It's also quite I mean can be maybe more humbled. 
Um, you wanted to show us some images, and then maybe we, we refer to uh, the images or the film. What would you like uh, to yes, show? Yes, we can, we can start with the uh, film, but I was thinking to, to, to talk about um, uh, to be realistic uh, or not, uh, but where now I feel like I'm lost in my computer. Because uh, I was... Uh, oh, okay. And I stop like this. Yeah, for example, this is a um, um, strange portrait of the people. So then, if you, uh, this will, what, uh, uh, okay, I will show you uh, the, so like this. I will show you works, of course, which are not uh, in a show, and um, and they are older. And this is, a, this series calls, uh, has a title, uh, Waiting to the Miracle. And uh, they are all the uh, heads or women in the head, um, and uh, I I took uh, these photographs on the street during uh, 2001, the, the, the year 2001, and <clears throat> also I did it uh, because I feel like they are they really look like flowers, and um, once I first one which I, I found. Um, it wasn't on the street, it was on the uh, trolley bus uh, in, the, in the traffic and uh, I was looking at it and it was like mm, two, mm, mm, two different m materials uh, go together. One was uh, the, 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 the frog on the window, like you know when it's warm it starts to leak. And uh, another was this... Uh, um, uh, this needs, like, yeah, the, the, this needs, yeah, yeah, they, they have, they, they, are, they have very special needs, you know, with a lot of hairs, and it, it was like one uh, picture, one caressing picture together, you know, like, um, looks, looks somehow um, very spring and very, also very protected by the circumstances, and it's become very. Uh, very live uh, image, and after I didn't take it because I mean I didn't um, put it in a, in this uh, collection because uh, oh, sorry, it's a repetition. So because um, usually they are more um, isolated from from the background. I mean they're just by visual things. And for example, this is a, a series called uh, Anabios um, Fisherman Plants also from the year to 2001 and this uh, it's a um, series which uh, consists uh, from two types of the picture some of them are uh, fishermen uh, digging fish uh, in the winter in the snow and this is uh, bushes uh, covered by by, um, by the kind of canvases uh, protected uh, from from the Freezing and uh, from the freeze, and uh, they they all. Um, I mean, I, I I took all these photographs uh, in Moscow, and uh, this all looks like uh, uh, the life uh, life source in a, in a condition of waiting for for something for for better, and also it's uh, not uh, very rational uh, to um, to take a fish in the Moscow River, and it was one image. Yeah, this is a. So this is a fish, actually. So and um, I ask them, and they are, what what they are doing? Uh, uh, one say, I'm thinking here, I'm just uh, concentrate on my on my life. But another uh, another one uh, say, uh, says like, oh, it's very healthy uh, because I'm uh, like uh, I'm on the nature. And at the, at the same at the same at the same time, he was smoking inside of this plastic bag. <laughs> so, so it's nothing rational. So it's more like uh, to to stay uh, with you, with your own, which I like very much. Um, so what? Yeah, this I can show you this uh, series, and it's. Uh, I made it uh, in a museum of natural history in Moscow in a, maybe yet yeah, two oh oh nine. And it's all, um, it's, it's a series, uh, I mean, when I show it in exhibition, 
uh, I mixed up the picture with this uh, cactus seller. The, the name is Cactus Seller, and uh, this is a person. He he is uh, selling and he's collecting cactuses, and and he is allowed to sell them in a foyer um, in the lobby of of the museum in this uh, condition, and he he is absolutely addicted uh, by the, the the process. Uh, he um, he was not even. Uh, taking attention that I was making photographs, and I, when I came, and uh, he said, "Oh, you you would like to have a cactus? So it's only 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 one pr 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 wish uh, he expect from the people." And uh, so this was a, just one picture when he was looking at me, and because of uh, him and his uh, very strong wish, uh, which I appreciate very much, I start to. Um, uh, feel the collection in this museum um, as a as a result of uh, all this uh, uh, self denying uh, feeling like people who are um, uh, who were collecting this strange uh, strange object they they were all uh, this type of people and after this this museum become uh, the the collection of strange coincidence and uh, uh, very mm, mm, very also, it's 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 in the middle of Moscow, but it's not renovated, uh, and because of this, it's very very nice uh, museum. When you could still search something by yourself, it's not like a, a museum on the uh, Bradley uh, in 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 Paris, uh, uh, where everything is already prepared so much that you have. Um, I mean, I was somehow bored uh, because you really feel you are calculated already. You are. You, um, it's nothing to do with your imagination, with your, I don't know, with your feelings. And this museum, first of all, is very restrict, like nothing is uh, allowed there. It has a lot of uh, um, limitations. And then you, you just go and you see uh, uh, through, through, through the collection. It's quite atmospherical museum. So, <clears throat> and... Uh, and I understood that we, it's better if we don't show anything which, uh, which is uh, well, an exhibition. Yeah. But maybe we... Uh, but if there's somebody, if there's some, if there's a work in the exhibition that you want to sort of refer to in the, in the context of our discussion, to, to discuss more extensively, then... Mm, it depends. But maybe we, uh, we, we look at the video, then we have some pause, and then we... Okay. Uh, which one could be? I mean, we could show. The, we can look at this one because it was. Oh no! Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry.
Now, this morning we actually had a um, recorded interview, uh, the two of us, as a, um, as, a, as a part of an ongoing research in the, in the Former West project, and very soon it will be um, available on the Former West website as well. So, um, as we can say, if you like our discussion, you can get more of it um, on, the, uh, on the internet. So, in that discussion where we discussed about um, the beginning of your artistic practice and the way in which it's related with the uh, major changes in, in the Soviet Union at the time because your the beginning of your artistic career um, overlapped with the, with, the, with the height of the perestroika and you were mentioning that uh, some of your first works were dealing very much with the, the, the empire of desires that were that was the case in the Soviet society at that moment at the time. And um, of course, if, if we look at this video, that's there are two two you know edges of the of, of, of the knife there. Because on one hand, there is this sort of like an economy of desire, um, and we know that you know this is desire and, and a certain kind of like fetishism are not completely innocent human feelings, but they're as you know many questionable theories would, 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 would also argue they, they, they even played a role in the in the collapse of the of the of the Soviet system in the way it was it was handled because of a particular way of handling the um, the component of desires of, of, of humans but then the, the second the second edge of the knife is and now I refer to, to a question that actually like Flora posed early on when we did the tour with with many of you here uh, which was about nostalgia um, and she was referring to the fact that uh, again, uh, a lot of the reviews of, of the exhibition at Buck were um, labeling the, sh the show as a nostalgic one. And what I had actually like said in, in, in relation to the question was that, well, perhaps, but there is a lot of, I mean, uh, nostalgia is you know uh, um, too much of an easy label. It's it's, it's actually an empty s signifier. I mean, there is a much more complex structure and economy of, of nostalgia. Like, who is nostalgic for what? In, 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 and in the same time, you know, who desires what? You know, if you think about this video. Um. Can I? Yes, please. Uh, I think I, uh, I would think I achieve something if I can make uh, the uh, present reality to be a point of nostalgia of somebody in the future. So if 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 this if this could happen, then I I will feel like uh, something something happened, something is done. Because um, I think um, I don't well, I don't don't work with nostalgia as a nostalgia about the past, but I think it's maybe nostalgia about the idealistic or ideal uh, or utopian um, um, condition. And uh, in this sense, I'm, I can agree with this word. Uh, because we maybe all have memory of, uh, of the ideal um, world, and then then we feel nostalgic of it, and also uh, nost nost nostalgia about ourselves, which are like we but better, or uh, uh, like uh, just to miss something which is uh, which is better inside of us. Or, and um, with this film, for example, um, the uh, idea of the dream, or the, the the theme of the dream, become very simple things. Uh, and um, like the, uh, nothing is successful in in this uh, little sense. Like the the pre this present, it, he's not it's not achieved, and uh, the the uh, flying um, airplane is not flying. It's always uh, always falling down. But it doesn't make any any bad sense. Like it's uh, the most important that this guy he's uh, running together with this girl. And uh, these people, they are trying to do something uh, with o very awkward, but do something together, you know. And this this feeling, uh, if if they are gone, then um, uh, so. But for for me, is uh, <clears throat> also not a method. But sometimes I I, I feel things like. Uh, 
imagine that they don't exist anymore, and then you feel uh, immediately uh, different to to them about them. So it's not 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 a, not a nostalgia about something real, but it's it's a nostalgia about no myself or myself. And and how about desire? Um, and maybe it would be actually a little bit interesting to 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 um, just revisit what we actually discussed uh, in the interview about you know the particular moment of the of the late eighties and and your your mm. your work and and also because it is as you said that basically the beginning of your of your artistic. If we start from work. that that far, we never. <laughs> we no, never, we we start and we uh, stop there. So it's, <laughs> we, we stop just, there. We stop there. Uh, because yeah, we I did, I mean, we yeah, we did already the the, the last ten years. We did the, we we do late eighties and we jump the nineties. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but maybe I mean we could go through um, this um, project which has a title "Art uh, of Consum Consumption and um, Consumption of Art." Which uh, already in nine, I mean, it was it, it came from two sides. One uh, like my own study of uh, uh, history of art. I mean, even like some discovering, uh, like um, um, I made, and uh, so it was a jump. Uh, I mean, it was quite big step from from the paintings and from illustrating children books um, to more abstract things. So it becomes culture of the cakes. Um, and, uh, but during this, this time when I was searching the material and looking what's, uh, what the, the, this object are, um, I found, um, uh, the book I was, uh, explaining you about, uh, but I think you've seen the, the, the works as well, right? Yes. So it's a, um, it's a black and white uh, culinary book, but I, I, I show you as a, as a project some, some images. So you see, um, uh, this illustration, they are the, not a direct, I, I, I use uh, also the images. Can you just say from what year the work is? 1992. Um, uh, so I, I'm, uh, basically they are illustration from this book. It's, uh, it, uh, this, when, I, when I opened this book, I was really amazed uh, by some contradictory uh, which was in it, uh, because it was a book um, about how to make a pastries or bro, bro, bread, but um, it was all black and white, and um, it, it's a, it, it has uh, all this uh, didactic, but also, uh, let's say, um, Asian Bible images, like always, uh, no, no personality, uh, no somebody who, who can be in front of you, it's just two hands. Uh, from the top, and uh, they they were always doing like this is for example um, the big painting on the, that wall has a title uh, day and, uh, day and night, and uh, mm, I show you dif different. So and uh, yeah, this is this also this 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 is already a photograph and um, all this. Uh, and uh, the object uh, were made from the porcelain, but they all uh, the f uh, I was following the uh, book instruction, and uh, so this is this looks like the earth, and I was going yeah this is a, like creation of the water for example so they they were uh, they were very global but at the same time they teach uh, to person how to be creative how to create your own word so this. Uh, um, this I feel it's very, uh, very important, and I think uh, from this point it started. Uh, um, maybe I'm quite interested in in a, in an activity which which possible to call exercises, and uh, so maybe it's not obvious, but um, for me is a different r r relation between this uh, attitude and uh, video work, which uh, which has a title seven exercise, and maybe we we can look at it. Uh, other seven yes. Mm -hmm. 
все, я готова. Раз, два, три, четыре.
I think um, we should open the floor to questions from the audience um, as well, and we can sort of like continue in this style. So, um, are there questions? <coughs> yes. Uh, just the, the microphone will come to you. I was one. Oh God. I was wondering about the last film that we just watched. I think it was number five with the woman in the park and the two bags. Did you put the bags there yourself or how did you come across the image? <clears throat> no, I never staged. Uh, I mean, I did, uh, uh, that time I didn't stage any video and uh, one video in in an um, exhibition place is staged uh, by, and uh, it's, it's um, a friend of mine who was drawing, who was making, uh, was making drawings on the street. It's called Untitled Dedicated to Sangha. Yes, yes. And now I make another one just... Um, I, I was thinking I finished the the editing and was going to show you, but, uh, but I decided it's not finished, so I will continue. So, uh, but it, it's an, it's a one more <clears throat> which is uh, which is not staged. But uh, at that time I didn't make anything staged, so it's uh, uh, so I don't know what was in the in the bag and I didn't bring them. They all just uh, like collected all this uh, subject. Other questions? Thank you very much for an interesting uh, conversation. Um, from the reviews of the um, exhibition, um, I got the impression that your art is about Russia. But from the conversation, I understand it's much more personal and not so much uh, showing Russia or greater something bigger, but showing personal stories. Do I understand that correctly? Mm, but, um, so I think it's very, for me, very mm, difficult to divide uh, the 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 things. So if <clears throat> I mean they 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 are they are Russian and they are even sometimes I feel that they are Soviet. Uh, so and sometimes I, I I feel they they can be written as international, but uh, I mean it's mm, mm, they are they are personal. But as far as I'm talking on Russian language, I think they are they are Russian because uh, I think uh, uh, it has all these signs of the mentality built up by by the literature very much and also mm, um, what I always feel uh, like my mistake that I explain too much in, in the work and it's, it's also like very. Uh, um, I think the idea of the literature, uh, very classical literature, of basically 19th century in, in Russia, and um, mm, but all these um, uh, details and metaphors they also came from me from literature of 20th century, which uh, we, we discussed today w would be uh, Yuri Alesha, who is um, a very very important uh, writer for me, or Andrei Platonov. These are just very very um, good and strong names and strong strong uh, literature. So, um, I mean, the good things and bad things. I think they they are very much uh, belong to to the language. So, then that, that would be difficult to 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 find very strict definition. There, there are no. Can I speak without? Or uh, it's just there. there. Okay. Um, it's not so much a question as also a little bit of a comment. I say. Um, I consider your work very special in the sense that you speak indeed of metaphors, but they are not, as in many of other works of Russian artists I know, they're not constructed, they're not totally manipulated. They are sort of uh, coincidence or, or indeed your observations or maybe your exercises in observ observing reality play a role in the in, as I feel that the work transmits metaphorical images indeed, but not... So, okay, my question. Um, it would be, uh, uh, do you, how do you see that yourself? Do you see yourself within the landscape of Russian contemporary artists, like those that are like Stodelat or all those 
which, which stage indeed very opera-like or, or very theatrical. Um, how, do you, how do you see that? How do you see your position in that landscape? Is that a question you can... No, you know, I'm already uh, all the time responsible of the things which are happening in Russia. I always uh, ask it, uh, about our politics and about uh, very uh, difficult processes, which uh, I, even, I mean, they are very um, unexpected sometimes or very unreadable for, for myself. So, And for me, to, uh, I'm not... Uh, um, so I'm not responsible for all of the art which is coming from from Russia, um, and uh, the things uh, with uh, which connected more direct with the politic, uh, um, how I understand it, uh, would be also the piece uh, which I mentioned this um, this morning and we, which I think is a very strong one. It's a piece of Andre Sala called Interview where his uh, mother trying to, I mean, he, she's, uh, it's a very, very big, um, mm, a very strong moment when she cannot recognize herself in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in her past. So, and then it's, that, it's a really um, open, very big volume for, for, for me, and, uh, and I piece I'm return always. So this I would, uh, mm, so, mm, also, mm, yeah, I even maybe don't really would associate myself with just even the field of the artist. It's always, uh, for me, uh, can be somebody who is working uh, with, uh, uh, with the literature or some, and also they are not, sometimes they are not alive anymore. So this, they, it's, it's more the mental field which uh, I would imagine as an ideal uh, viewer. Or somebody who I would apply uh, to um, to ask the question. Uh, so this this is a field um, I feel more at least uh, more comfortable with. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I would also say anthropology, or s that I would mention in relation to your work earlier than uh, than with the other artists that I know. <laughs> so I did, didn't get this. I don't know the word the or the term anthropology. anthropology. Yes. That 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 field is is operating in your work for me more than uh, with the I don't know all of them I know only a few but more than with the the other artists I mentioned just before this sort of and indeed has also to do with that realism the idea of realism sort of, it's the the metaphor arises in the in the dialogue with reality for me mm -hmm. it, in your work. Yeah, and art scene is uh, also very interesting reality. I'm not denied, but uh, many people are busy with it, so I don't feel I have to. And usually, I, when I work with uh, things, I really feel uh, I should react because I, I, they they are asking. I mean, there there are some images uh, which stays uh, sometimes for years, and I don't uh, don't work with them, but I always watching them. And uh, and uh, uh, for example, the. Mm, uh, series uh, on duty. I was like five or maybe even ten years. I mean, time is now <laughs> so compressed. So maybe it was ten years, but uh, I was planning to take a photographs because I was thinking, oh, this is an ideal uh, people um, to take a pictures because they are covered by this uh, obscure glass, like a classical painting. They are uh, they are not moving. They are mostly silent and they are also very uh, invisible and but also very for me they always exist and i only did it uh, when um, uh, they got the monitors and i feel okay so it's, it's, it can happen that they will be replaced themselves so it was already like uh, quite, <coughs> quite late so but it's for me it's always a reaction not um, um, not a project and because of this uh, I was, if, uh, so I'm quite difficult with, uh, uh, with some collective, collective projects because I have uh, uh, enough uh, contradictory collective in, in myself. So they have uh, too many voices, uh, so I'm so sometimes completely destroyed about this quantity already. So uh, and because of this, um, I, I don't really feel uh, very deep in, in the art stand. 
Are there any other questions? Yes. yes. Uh, uh, no, over there first. I'm on, I'm on oh. the mic. Okay. <laughs> So at, uh, at the very beginning of the talk, you actually um, uh, quite quickly uh, switched from realism to romanticism, which is uh, a peculiar th thing, which is not that obvious, actually. And that reminds me uh, the idea of another wonderful Russian artist, Andrei Monastirsky, who actually um, had this idea, not officially, but had this idea in conversation that all the art history can actually be cut to the opposition of romanticism or and classicism. So each movement is whether romanticism or classicism, basically. And uh, uh, back to politics, uh, I would say that the situation in Russia now is very much of a classicism. And it's very interesting for me that your approach is 100% romanticism on it. So perhaps it's more like a replica than a question, but that's that's what I can bring up. It's it's realistic by the number of the of the things uh, I'm looking to, and uh, the way to approach may be more romantical. Like I was very pleased uh, to be a part of the show. It was a it's a, it was a huge retrospection of uh, Kaspar David Friedrich, for example, and um, I like very much. Um, uh, his paintings with the uh, lonely figures and with this uh, 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 sky and uh, mountains and all this uh, stuff, which uh, which is already um, uh, nominated as a, as a holy sublime things. But at the same time, I like to, to keep this approach, but uh, don't uh, don't um, erase uh, the, the things which are more close and which are more simple or maybe more they are the same enigmatic, but uh, not calculated as a uh, high, high, um, romantical or idealistic uh, the points, uh, but at the same time, uh, I like also the, his way uh, that the painting is not uh, not uh, the moral, but the painting is something which uh, influence uh, the space and uh, irradiate atmosphere. So he was insisting that one painting in one room, because he was thinking the paintings can, uh, I mean, otherwise it's a disaster of the energy. So, I mean, I like this uh, um, lone, he wasn't, he wasn't lonely, I mean, it was a division, but still like uh, this uh, feeling of uh, loneliness and uh, responsibility of things are, which are made. Um, okay, and then, then gentlemen, and then, yes. Um, and yeah, your work is positioned within the back, within in the, in the context of the the former West. But but how do you relate to that notion yourself? Because, I don't, yeah, well, it, I'm curious as well. <laughs> I can say before that uh, this was actually the, the the first and the main question that I posed this morning as well in the interview, which will be available online. But. This is not to um, escape you from answering the question now. <laughs> yes, but uh, um, I don't think I have more uh, new answers than we are tried to, uh, to 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 explain this morning. But I, I think uh, um, the idea of West was uh, very strongly based uh, on the, um, let's say, not east, the, the, the geographical, but uh, the Soviet east, and uh, it was so so big and solid. And uh, um, after um, this, um, well, the, the, after this powerful or uh, how to call this uh, huge monade uh, doesn't exist anymore. So the the West become also. Um, um, Possible to multiplicate? No, no, no. Like right. multitudes, so yeah, become become like it's now very many uh, little wests, <laughs> so, and or also <clears throat> uh, with uh, I mean with our time, the things are just losing the the frames, and it's happening in a, with the reality, with art, and with uh, with the mind, and uh, things are interfere very um, very closely. So. Um, Mm. Uh, 
uh, would say in in Russia, uh, very often uh, things I'm doing would be uh, would be told or, or commented as a, oh she it's, it's really uh, she's Western artist, which for me would be I'm not uh, it's not me who who, who is saying like this, uh, but um, like I'm I'm representing something which. Uh, which can which you can obviously find here but this this uh, not mm, uh, not what i can, uh, can uh, share uh, with, uh, this position uh, so and uh, mm, it's it, it, the biggest uh, the biggest point is uh, like we, we lose this um, uh, illusion uh, and uh, uh, mm, I mean, when the West is uh, far and uh, like uh, with uh, behind uh, this uh, iron curtain, and um, everything was um, accepted by uh, uh, Russian intelligence as uh, Soviet intelligence as like we have wrong uh, situation here, but uh, something clear and very um, um, rational and very normal is is going behind this wall and uh, but what we do like uh, it was a, it was one film very uh, very critical to all uh, Soviet life uh, when uh, when it was already stagnated uh, has a title um, which is uh, uh, which means uh, you uh, the, it's not possible to live like this but uh, and it was very tragic film but at the same time it was a uh, um, uh, quotation of the one uh, comic uh, called the, the, the man who say so maybe our country and it was like yeah, yeah. 70s maybe our country is kept it by all planet uh, just as an example that it's not possible to live like this uh, so I mean it was very strong uh, um, um, how they call the, the disp disposition, the very very strong, very obvious border, and as far as uh, there is no um, that old border, so the, the the idea of West become also um, former idea. I mean, it's my maybe very uh, amateur explanation. <laughs> <laughs> and for the detailed version, again, I will refer you to the website. Uh, there was a gentleman in the corner. Oh. Matteo? And sorry for my English. I always feel like I'm not, not pointing the right words to explain what I want to explain. Um, well, my question is the following. Um, we, during your conversation, we've uh, heard a lot of uh, the term, um, uh, obviously, Realism and also your uh, intention to detach yourself from a, from a label, no? That could be uh, a, def a close definition of what uh, uh, could be could your work uh, be re be in relation to the term of realism. And at the same time, there was also this constant uh, referring from you uh, to a cultural production from the 19th century. Or, or uh, to friends, as they were called, that worked in between the 19th or the 20th century. So, um, my, I was wondering what could be for you nowadays a possible definition of uh, realism in uh, in the visual regime production, and uh, especially maybe in the context of Russia, in in the contemporary context, what could realism still mean? And what could embed in in in, in the concept, in its concept of visual uh, representation of realism that can be labeled as realism? Mm. <laughs> so I don't know for for the moment what what I could. Yeah, it's obviously not this uh, painting, which uh, from painting which which has the same approach uh, of. Uh, at, yeah, I, I still may be floating in in, a, in a terms because for me, a uh, very realistic artist. Uh, but again, sorry for uh, old example, would be Van Gogh, for example. Like he's very for for me, he's very realistic and also uh, very. A realistic thinker, like uh, if 
I would not not only uh, accept his uh, his paintings, but also the way how he uh, described the life. And uh, so maybe I, I will search again in the literature in in uh, new time uh, in the contemporary time, because um, the realistic method could be. I mean, it's 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 mental mental tool and uh, mental um, way to to deal with things. It's very very difficult to to to, to see. Uh, I mean, the just the, the uh, things if if if. If it's painted with recognizable images, it's not. Uh, it wouldn't be um, uh, realistic. I, I should really think what what can be realism now, because it's um, um, for me. Uh, I mean, to 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 look through a TV program uh, would be a very best example of realism, but it doesn't 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 say that I like it very much. But it's it's very realistic. Are there other questions? Yes. Thank you. Uh, perhaps I didn't quite understand everything, but all the time you're talking about labels, about realistic, etc. I think when I thought, uh, thought, saw the last part of your films, that they were very poetic. And I haven't heard the word poetic, I don't know if it is because of uh, you are handling the camera, because I'm not a filmer, but I, I like the term poetic in your work. What do you yourself think about that? <laughs> For me, I feel like all evening I'm assisting I'm poetic, <laughs> but not enough, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> because uh, uh, also um, we mentioned this figure in a in a film um, when 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 I when, when I show some films I like uh, one month ago, and uh, for example this is a it's a Soviet cameraman his name is uh, Sergei Rusevsky and he's a he's a genius uh, in in this. Um, uh, field, but uh, and um, I was reading his text, and he was saying, uh, "I am shooting by the poetry." Like it's even uh, grammatically is not mm, it's not possible to say it, uh, like this. Uh, I mean, but it's it immediately you immediately understand what what he means. So and and because of this, um, I like his work very much. Like he uh, he can. Um, Mm. Yeah, he was he he was visualized me, me, metaphors. This what what he achieved, and uh, so m maybe I mean I like to use the word um, poetical, but it's uh, maybe it's too pretentious. Uh, and so then then, uh, but basically it's uh, very very for me it's very value way to to approach. This is what I call to to go to go through to reality through the metaphors. Is uh, it's for me is the most uh, so most interesting. <laughs> so. If I may add here, because I, I don't believe that uh, what we would call today poetic is um, um, an opposite of, of, of realism, and they're not even comparable, because they're two very different kind of qualities in a way, and, and realism is a, is, a, is a device that you choose to, that you refer to, and so on. And, uh, you know, poetry is... is, is um, to a certain degree, inescapable, or, or it's it's a it's a different kind of quality of the work, and it's a different dimension in a way, and they can be, you know, both there or one there, but they're not antagonistic, and 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 again, not even comparable in a way, as such. They're like two two different vectors of an artistic object, I think. Because it. It might refer to what the lady here just said. Cosmin, you're using all these words, you're using all this language, which I think, I mean, I think you're sort of capturing Olga within a huge framework of where you use all these words that I hardly, I have hardly any notion of it. And I think, Realism. No, not only realism, I mean, every word... Um, some of these people here use are from studying, are from reading. And I was wondering, has anyone actually looked at the work, seen the poetry 
seen, I hope so. seen the sheer poetry, seen the love that she looks at this country. I, I sure hope so. Yes, that's what I hope so too. And uh, oh, you're all no, welcome to actually like see it again, like with the same eyes or with the different eyes. That even now, we, we're going to be open for one more hour and a half. So, no, what I mean is, you're trying to label her work within a frame which is used at the moment at Bach, at, at uh, former West, and somehow she's been. All evening, she's been trying to get away from this label, escaping. escaping it. And everyone comes back again with the label, comes back, says, no, it's about realism. And then she says, realism? I don't have a strategy. Mm. I'm an artist. I just notice things. And I, I'm, because I'm a visual artist, I'm very, very observant. And I've got this very poetic way of looking at stuff. And of course, she has no strategy and no vector and no i'm sorry i think no no it's 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 you know it's it's interesting because uh just before the talk we had a um we had a guided tour and somebody asked well why don't you have more or i don't know if it was necessarily like meant critically but it was i guess just a question whether why don't you have more more texts in the exhibition that sort of like would explain or would um, would give more information or would place the um, um, would place those works in, in, in some sort of, I wouldn't say framework, but no, in, in, to, to actually give more information. And my answer was that, well, because there is a particular, that I'm not ne necessarily against this kind of like texts uh, or, or, you know, giving more information in an exhibition, but exactly because of the nature of the work, which is so much about seeing and so much about a certain way of seeing and a certain way of, 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 of relating to what you see as an artist, the work doesn't need this information. You can, and that's why we have a book, and that's why we have, um, you know, all sorts of other ways in which you can um, think and, and, and discuss and get more information about her work, about the country, and so on. But the exhibition, as such, and I think it is quite important if you go there, you know, exactly where the main story happens, you have the images, and they're staged in a way that is not random or not sort of like, you know, as a categorization. I mean, from the every sort of like ray of light in the space to every dimension, every aspect of indeed the aesthetic experience there is taken care of because that is indeed important. It's a very important component of the artwork. But then to imply that, you know, an artist that just does things without thinking about it is very offensive, I think, for most of the artists. Uh, I think that artists are not naive children, they just feel and see the world, in a way. Even if that's an important component of all of our lives, in a way. Um, I think there's a dimension of rationality that we all have to share. And this is not in order to frame the work in a way that kills the poetry, or kills the artistic from the work. It's another instrument that, again, does not replace making art and being in art, but comes together with it. I mean, we're not sitting now in the exhibition or, or the main event of having Olga with us. The main venue of having Olga with us, it's her exhibition. We are now in a sort of like sideline in which we try to discuss about things which are there in human culture. You know? um, a certain you know, way in which like art can help us do things, understand more things than just art, and even you know a certain kind of like kind of sloppy way of trying to, you know, put art in some sort of story, in some sort of narrative. And for that we have to use sometimes even labels that can be, <clears throat> you know, reductive, can be even slightly abusive. But, you know, it's a necessary speculation, I think. So, yeah, I think that's what we try to do. No, so I, uh, to I, well, I don't know if I, if I answered your question. So if we, you... we talk a lot with uh, Cosmian... Um about works and uh, so I was amazed about many, many, many very interesting uh, illuminative points and also with Cosmin we decided that this show would be not right, like a uh, typical uh, show with just a series of uh, different work in a, in, a, in a separate spaces and we were thinking how to uh, build it as a um, as a 
or artist or just somebody conscious like to how how work will uh, support each other what the, what the, how they could uh, talk to each other so it was all made uh, um, with our collaboration in our collaboration and so many ideas belong to Cosmian which uh, um, I appreciate very much so and I would think it's a um, it's a very good experience to have things uh, because I could I mean I didn't but I, uh, I could show you more works which are very uh, I would say very about pres presence how it is like I have one piece uh, which is half an hour and we decided don't show it today but it's about people uh, who are uh, on a boat um, a Saturday boat uh, going to, to have a uh, forward and back trip and uh, things which are going they are very irritating and uh, ugly and just uh, also you see some expectation you see some um, uh, some preoccupations and you always you I mean you don't accept don't ex don't expect anything good happen in, in, in this uh, in, in this trip but uh, but uh, suddenly things change because you 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 understand uh, through, through through the heroes that there is a love story and um, it's about appreciation about uh, respect between people and it's very very um, but at the same time it's very unshaped uh, work uh, some, some, I would say. So, and these uh, things, they need sometimes the borders, they need the frames, and uh, so I'm not against the label. Mm, I'm just uh, mm, trying to have, you know, like Bergman, he explained what the freedom is. It's like to uh, to know very good your limitation and also try to go a little bit further. So this is uh, like I know I know my field uh, and I know already I think I I, I mean I, I could very um, easily recognize uh, things which which are evoking me or uh, like like mine let's say yeah, like something which uh, or I belong to to them but at the same time for me it was uh, very interesting to see where the, where the border and how how far I can can step what what kind of uh, interpretation or what kind of uh, new things uh, can can appear so I'm very pleased uh, because of this show and uh, all the time to talk we, we have to find a label or definition even if I don't even uh, to say I don't like it. but to say honestly I even don't like uh, talk in public in front of public <laughs> so, so it's all about the, how to how to make bigger your freedom <laughs> so how, how to expand your limitations uh, there was a question over there, uh, even before Barbara. The yeah, I think you just kind of uh, replied, in a, re responded in a sense. I was, uh, um, I wanted to react to the last question in a sense, like defending Cosming and attacking Olga, but then I was like, no, it's not about... <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, uh, when um, there was one very beautiful moment uh, in this conversation tonight, when you said about, you responded to, to Cosmin's, um, about the responsibility of the artist, and I'm, uh, I'm actually defending you now, in saying that you said, no, the artist has a responsibility. And uh, it's not that escaping from a label would mean not assuming a responsibility. And I just wanted to know if you could name it for now, like what is it your responsibility now with the show? If, if you can think about a way of naming, naming it. It's difficult. I, I feel sometimes I, I cannot be an artist. The, 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 um, some, um, we have discussion with uh, David Reeve, uh, you know, our colleague and also translator from this book. Uh, he had some like situation. He was in hospital with uh, his baby. And uh, he was uh, telling, like, I was amazed by this and that, and he described me the architecture of, of this, of the, of the of the buildings, and uh, I, I I was telling him, Cosmin, oh, sorry, uh, David, I cannot do like the, like you because sometimes I'm in a situation when I feel I'm not artist anymore. So like, and uh, in, in Russia it's quite often. But he's not a real artist, so that's why you know I think it actually <laughs> yes. works like that. Yes, 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 and so reality is uh, so so strong um, sometimes, even. But I, I, it's in Russia and everywhere. So for me, it would be difficult to 
to deal with some situation. But I know the other artists, they, they can. So, I mean, I should maybe find uh, um, just very certain way of, uh, of uh, interpret it or, uh, or deal with it. Then I, so I don't feel I'm able. So maybe this is also uh, uh, the, 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 the answer of your question about responsibility. Another last pressing question? Okay, but yeah. Very quick. Very quick. And it will be a very long answer. If <laughs> okay. we'll well, I'll just ask. It's a kind of chicken and egg question. Um, uh, no one's talking about sound and soundtracks, and I just wondered, because to me, a, a, a great deal of the feeling of nostalgia and um, romanticism is connected with the soundtrack mm -hmm. to the various things we've seen. I, uh, uh, at one point during that seven-step thing, I kept thinking Jacques Tati, Jacques Tati, Jacques Tati, but that's me. Um, but I wondered, um, A, uh, what does uh, a soundtrack come first and a film after, or does it vary every time, and what what leads you to choose what I see or hear as uh, something with such a, a very strong romantic sound? <laughs> but this sound, uh, particularly this sound, uh, is uh, from the book. Uh, it's, a, it's a book to, to, to learn the music, to, to, to learn the rhythm. And I choose it because of, uh, of the exercise content uh, of the video. So it's a very little pieces how to how to play music. So and f the question of uh, repeating or like self uh, self denying or to be uh, inspired is very much about uh, how to uh, if you can if, if how you how good you can do these uh, exercises. So this way I choose this one and um, I think the best is uh, if you can use uh, music at the play from the plays. Uh, I, I, I like it most, but it's very, very, very difficult to to get. Also with the uh, with the equipment I have, I mean, it's just. Why, why I, I think I did I did it once with the film uh, March, uh, which I show in a film program. Uh, it's not in, in a show, and I decided don't show it today because it was running one month ago here, like one time in the evening. And then, but it, it's it was very much about music because. Uh, uh, the, I heard the, I heard the, I, I was with camera, I heard this March uh, music, I went there because I was expecting something and I see, I found something completely different and uh, at the same time, at the end of the shooting, um, I, it's, it's in a film, I found, uh, I mean, I see the boy who, sa who said, uh, I cannot stand this march anymore. If they repeat it again, I go to the shop and I will buy the earplex. Uh, so because they were playing this march, because these old people, there are two sides of the, the two groups of people. They all were used as a uh, human decoration, you know, like to just to celebrate something which was in the theater behind them, and they were they were just uh, you know like invited to. Like it was a, a che uh, cheerleaders and uh, a little of uh, future officers, little cadets. So, and this, but this, on, I think, only work when when I have uh, music, and the, the music was uh, also the, the 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 beginning of the work, and uh, always very different. And sometimes I'm not very satisfied with uh, with the music, like film, uh, which is uh, in. A, uh, also in a show called Marmot, I use. Uh, I was looking at the material, and uh, uh, it was uh, the sound of demonstration. And uh, so I was looking at it and looking. Usually, I, I also first I watch the reality, and after I watch the video for a long time, and don't know what to do with it. And uh, uh, my daughter was playing this Marmot piece, and he did so. She did so many mistakes, and she also. What I like very much afterwards that she was exaggerating emotional moment. You know, like uh, make it more sad than it was, <laughs> like a very, very amateur way. So, and I found. Uh, I mean, I, I used this piece like very individual approach. It was quite. Uh, so, and and because of this, uh, actually, this work has a strange title. Uh, sometimes, I mean, without um, context, it sound uh, it looks a little bit strange. But in Russia, this music of Beethoven has a title "Marmot." So this is a title of music. It's nothing else, uh, but <laughs> become some somehow 
something else. So, but it's uh, all the time different, and not not all the time very successful. I think uh, should be should be more conscious of the, the music because it's yeah. I, I believe in sounds. I, I like sounds. Um, I mean, I trust to sounds more than to visual things. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, uh, Cosmin, for example, uh, you. Um, I mean. No, we, no, no. It's, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> nothing to I, laugh at. <laughs> no, like in in the shop we have very big uh, porcelain shop uh, in Moscow with um, uh, with um, um, all kind of um, these things. And if you buy something, they always. Uh, uh, before they put it in, before they wrapped it uh, in a the paper, they they will do like this, like 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 this. So and by sound, and it's not visible. I mean, it could, it look okay, but if it doesn't make ri right sound, it's you know it's it has a little uh, crack, uh, in, so a little slit. So and um, I think the sound is very honest. And like yeah, but yeah. Like testing a man. <laughs> So, I would like to thank Olga very, very, very much for this very, very interesting discussion and to all of you for coming and staying with us. And before um, we finally say goodbye, I would just want to announce um, the next and last event that we have in conjunction with uh, the exhibition. And yeah, that will be another attempt to sort of like, well, to frame or but to you know, enter the, the, the work of Olga through another angle. And in this case, it will be somebody who will be less amateur than myself, and it will be Ekaterina Degot, uh, art historian, critic, and curator from Moscow that has followed um, Olga's work for many, many years and has written uh, a lot about, uh, about Olga. And she will deliver a lecture in the same place here at the Utrecht Archive on the 15th of March at 8 o'clock as well, like today. And now I would like to invite you all to Buck, where we're still open for another hour and there are free drinks. And you can see the artist edition um, and you can buy the artist edition. And you can also come back again now that we're open until April 17th. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, good pleasure.